This presentation has been produced to explain changes to your residential waste collection system and recycling service. The key points in this presentation are also printed on the accompanying brochure and can be viewed on the website. By now, you should have received a new red garbage bin. This bin is for waste from your household that cannot be recycled or disposed of in a more sustainable way. Your red bin will be emptied weekly on your normal garbage day. Your yellow bin will become your bin for recyclables only. You can put recyclables anywhere in the bin. The bin's divider will be safely removed in coming months. Please don't do this yourself. Your green bin is your garden vegetation bin. This bin will not change. This bin is for garden vegetation such as grass clippings, leaves and prune branches. These are the items that you can recycle. Paper, newspaper, brochures and catalogues, cardboard boxes and empty cereal cartons. Collapse cardboard boxes so they don't get stuck in the bin and stop it from being emptied properly. Glass drink bottles and food jars. Brown, green and clear. All empty and rinsed if practical. And lids can go in too after they are removed. Plastic soft drink bottles. Plastic milk and juice bottles. Other household plastic containers such as ice cream, shampoo and yoghurt containers. Steel cans and aerosol cans. Aluminium cans, trays and foil. Liquid paperboard cartons. Remember, all containers must be empty. Items that cannot be placed in your yellow recycling bin include garden waste, garden hoses, kitchen and food scraps, plastic bags and plastic wrap, polystyrene foam, clothing and linen, paints and oils, crockery, drinking glasses and Pyrex, disposable nappies, syringes and medical waste, long life cartons with foil linings, shredded paper, and other garbage. A brand new fleet of trucks will empty all of your bins with recycling taken to a brand new materials recovery facility in Summersby. The resulting materials are sent to the various recyclers to be made back into paper, new containers and various other products. Your green bin is for the collection of garden vegetation, which includes grass clippings, weeds and flowers, small branches that fit in the bin, enabling the lid to still be closed, untreated timber, and small plants and shrubs. Items that cannot be placed in your garden vegetation bin include rocks and soil, vegetable and other food scraps, garden hoses, pots, treated timber and lattice, plastic bags, and building materials. Your garden vegetation will be taken to a local processing facility to be made into a rich compost. Your new garbage bin has a red lid. This bin will be serviced weekly on your normal garbage day. This bin is for most of the items that cannot be recycled elsewhere, but there are still many items that should not be placed in this bin. Items that cannot go into your red bin include car batteries, fire extinguishers and gas bottles, hazardous materials such as chemicals, paints and oil. Bins need to be placed on the curbside and not the gutter or road to give the truck room to pull over safely to pick up your bin. Bins must face the road, with wheels pointing to your house, so the truck can pick them up. Make sure bins are placed about one metre apart where possible. They must be clear of overhanging trees, mailboxes and other structures so that the lifting arm can move safely. 
Do not overfill bins. The lid must be properly closed. Do not put extra bags or bundles near your bin, as they cannot be collected. By diverting thousands of tonnes of recyclable materials and garden vegetation from landfill, the Central Coast will be making real environmental savings. Recycling saves energy, water, landfill space and greenhouse gas emissions. In 2006, domestic recycling in Wyong amounted to more than 11,000 tonnes. Water savings from this recycling equated to around 75 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The greenhouse benefits equated to permanently removing more than 1,300 cars from roads. Energy savings were equivalent to the annual electricity requirements for 87 blocks of 100 households. And the paper and cardboard recycled also saved around 94,000 trees. Using the new materials recovery facility, we expect to be able to recycle even more resulting in even greater environmental benefits.